This is State Representative Arthur O'Neill reporting to you from the floor of the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives has come back into session to consider vetoes given by Governor Malloy to pieces of legislation that were passed by the legislature. One in particular, a piece of legislation affecting affordable housing appeals procedure, is going to be seriously considered for a veto override. In addition to that, the majority Democratic Party members are talking about having a session, a special session, to deal with the CBAC, the State Employee Bargaining Agreement, which changes the contracts for the pensions and health care. This is a very bad agreement. It uh, will lock the state of Connecticut into a very bad situation. It'll tie the hands of the next two governors and the next five legislatures. It commits the state to a no layoff clause for four years and only provides a two-year wage freeze, one year of which has already passed. We do not need to do this agreement in order to try to save the state money for the pensions and the health care benefits of state employees. Passage of that, this piece of legislation today would be a mistake because we do not have a budget and it is not even being considered this week by the state senate. It is my hope that we will vote this piece of legislation down. It will be a close vote and we have considered that almost all members of both sections of the legislature will be here today. All of the members of the House Republicans, except one, are present, and we don't know exactly how many members of the Democratic Caucus are here. Some of the members of the Democratic Caucus may in fact vote no, but we don't know exactly what's going to happen with that either. One of the reasons why we should not be considering this piece of legislation today, this contract, is that we don't have all of the financial information. Our own financial analysts have not had the opportunity to consider this carefully. They haven't gotten all of the information that they have requested. Moreover, we have not hired an actuary to analyze the long-term consequences of the pension adjustments. We've been told by the governor that it's going to save us billions of dollars, but we have not independently verified any of that. We should wait. We should gather all the information. We should vote with information at our disposal. We should vote intelligently because we are making a very important decision that's going to affect the people of the state of Connecticut for at least a decade.